dear students now we are going to discuss about projection of planes in this problem they are given a regular pentagon of side 25 mm is resting on ground on one of its sides so i have to place your portion of your pentagon in this position then only it will be resting on one side will be on your ground then they have told that it has been inclined 45 degree to hp i have just drawn your two shape of your hexagon from there i am going to just project it for, for get a line and i am going to get your 45 degree and at last i will be getting your final shape of your pentagon okay so first i have to draw your xy line for that i am going to use your line command i just made my first click here you can see incline line has been available so i have to just switch on your ortho for that f8 i just switch on my ortho then press escape okay next use your text click your first point next i have to enter my text height for that i am going to press your h enter my text height is 5 enter then it will be asking for your second point okay just to type x select it bold it okay close editor just select it okay then click your move over here it will be asking your base point just place it over here similarly on that direction on your next side i am going to mark it as y first click second click y okay select it bold close editor just select the text click your move over here first point so i have to just zoom it z w enter i just zoom that part zoom window enter i just select this text click your move select your base point and place it over here next click your text so i am going to get a vertical plane v dot p control a bold close editor just select the text click your move over here and place it over here similarly once again text click your text over here it is hp h dot p once again select everything click your bold over here close it just select it click your move over here from this point to just move it and place it over here now i have drawn your xy line okay and i mark your vp and hp next i have to draw your pentagon for that just click it over here students you can see polygon over here i have just clicked your inverted triangle over here you can see polygon it will be asking number of sides for pentagon test 5 enter you are going to specify your edge only okay so e enter it will be asking your first point i just made my first point over here okay next it has been asking your dimension is 25 so 25 okay then press enter now you can see i have drawn your pentagon just select your pentagon click your by layer and change your line thickness as 0.35 okay next so i have to project it students before the projection i have to mark your wordings so first i am going to zoom it zoom enter w enter i am going to just zoom this window okay so it will be easy for me once again just click your text i am going to mark it your alphabets so a okay close editor once again click your text b select it and click your bold over here close editor once again text c bold it close editor once again click your text it will be your d click your and select your bold over here at last your e point e 
select bold and close editor ok now I have to place it just select this text click your move it will be asking your base point I have just placed it over here similarly B point move base point I have just placed over here similarly C move base point I place it over here zoom enter W enter I am just zooming this area for us it will be easy to you so just click your C click your move measure your blaze point place it over here similarly click your D move base point place it over here similarly your E click your move and place it over here ok next I have to mark your dimension students for that I am going to first set your dim style a dim style click modify on your symbols and arrow size your arrow size should be 4 your text your text type should be 5 your primary units your precision should be 0 0.00 click ok ok close next select linear select your first point and second point you can see your dimension has been 25 next I have to draw your projection line students for that just click your line from here your ortho should be on F8 just project it to your XY line similarly over here also escape your last first point escape ok next click your line from this point to this point join it once again join it don't draw it as a continuous line students because we can't able to get your intersection points so you have to draw as a part line only I am going to just change your line thickness as 0.35 ok next I have to view from this direction your A, B, C point will be visible whereas your E and D will be visible when I view from this direction so I have to view from this direction students so it will be A, B, C will be visible your D and E will be invisible so I am going to mark your text over here once again so it will be A dash on your front view it will be your dash on your bracket E dash close your bracket select your entire text and bold it close editor once again click your text it will be B dash on your bracket D dash select it and bold it close your last one text C dash select it and bold it click close editor just select your text to students click your move over here and just place it over here similarly select your text move over here your last select your text move ok next to students I have to rotate this line I have to rotate this line for 45 degree just select the line both the lines as well as text ok then click copy it will be asking your base point this is your base point just click your base point and you can just place it over here ok after making one copy just press escape now I have to rotate the students so I have just selected everything click rotate it will be asking for your base point this is your base point your angle is 45 so 4 5 enter see students now I have to just move this text only because it has been below your XY line I just clicked it click your move and select your base point and place it over here ok next I have to draw your projection lines so I just click your line your ortho should be on I just projected it 
escape once again see over here i have get an intersection point for this only i have made you to draw as a path line okay so once again click your line over here take a reference from the so all your lines will be a straight lines clear similarly i am going to project it from a horizontal direction line from this point to this point escape once again line from this point to this point escape once again click your line from this point to this point once again click your line from this point to this point your last just click your line okay now we are going to mark your alphabets see students a is over here okay so a line a line this is my first point okay so i just click my first point then this is my b point b and b intersection point then this is my c point intersection similarly d point intersection e point intersection and a point intersection okay now i have to dark your whichever lines i have drawn i have just selected it i just change your line thickness as 0.35 okay so just make a copy of your all your text so i just selected your text i make a copy i just to move it okay just to double click your text so it is your a1 so i just typed your a1 similarly over here it is b1 similarly over here it is c1 double click your over here it your d1 similarly over here e1 so you have to just to move your text to students so just select it move enter place closely similarly over here select your text move enter similarly over here select your text click your move similarly your d point select your text move at last your e point select your text move so see students now we have drawn your projection of your plane for the given diagram clear so with this we wind up your lecture we can meet in your further upcoming lecture thank you all